You ready to get comfy? All right. It's a little weird. Of course, I'm talking about Comfy UI, the Stable Diffusion backend. Take a look at it here. If you haven't used it before, it's really freaking powerful. This allows you to do things like chain together different commands in sort of a workflow style. And by doing so, you can accomplish some really cool things that you can't do in any other Stable Diffusion software. This, of course, is all about installing it, getting it running, and showing you how to kind of end to end get this stuff going. So let's jump right in and get to it. To get started, we're gonna go to python.org slash download slash windows. I like to personally use the Python 3.10.10 release, and that's because it seems to be the most compatible with a wide variety of stable diffusion software. I've actually had problems with newer releases than this. So we're gonna click on the Windows installer 64-bit and download that to our system. Now, if you happen to be one of my Patreon subscribers, you can skip all these steps. I've got a one-click installer that I wrote. You can simply click on it. It'll download Python, install Python, install Git, and it'll clone the repo for Comfy UI as well. Don't worry if you're not a Patreon though, this is gonna take you through the whole process start to finish. It'll just take a little bit longer. Once Python's downloaded, find that file, double click on it, and go ahead and go to install. I've already got it installed, so we'll click on modify instead. You're gonna go with the default installation options, except for when you click on next, this is the most important thing, so pay attention. Check the box for add Python to environment variables. This is gonna allow all of your system software to access Python. If Python doesn't work after this, it's because you probably didn't check that. So go ahead and check that and click install, and that'll take just a couple minutes to do. Moving on to the next step, we need to download and install Git for Windows. Git allows us to actually pull down files from GitHub clone repos, all of that fun stuff so we can get things installed. For this, we're gonna head over to git-scm.com slash download slash win. We're gonna grab the 64-bit installer and get that over to our downloads folder. Once that's there, simply click on the installer. Once you fire up the installer, just click next a whole bunch of times. Essentially, we're not gonna change any of the commands or any of the setup options. We're just gonna go through this and let it do its thing. Now, there we go, it's installing. And this again, just like the other one, takes just a minute or two. We're finished, just hit the finish button and we can move on to the next piece, which is Comfy UI. Comfy is available at github.com slash comfy anonymous slash comfy UI. Click on installing Comfy UI and you're gonna get this direct link to download. Once you click direct link to download, you're gonna get this 1.3 gigabyte 7-zip file. Once that's done downloading, you can open that with pretty much anything you want. I use WinRAR. You can extract it to a directory on your computer. In this case, I'm gonna go with drive E and create a directory called Comfy UI. When that's all extracted, you're gonna see the Comfy UI directory on your drive. Inside, you're gonna see another Comfy UI path, and you're also going to see a number of config files, but you're going to see this run NVIDIA GPU underscore bat. This is the batch file that actually launches this. You'll notice there's also a CPU file, so you can run this without a GPU, but man, it's going to be painfully slow, so I suggest you use an NVIDIA GPU. I'm going to go ahead and run this now, and you can see that launches a batch file on the command line. This is gonna do everything else that's needed to start this up. It's gonna run through the entire process of making sure we have all the files we need, and that'll take just a minute. And as soon as that's done configuring and installing everything, it's gonna take you to your browser, and it's gonna load 127.001, that's a loopback address, port 8188, that's just the port number that Comfy UI is running on locally on your machine. This looks a little daunting when you first load it up. It's really not that bad. This is really just the exact same UI you have in all the other stable diffusion systems, but broken out in sort of a piece by piece workflow. So the first thing you're gonna do is go over here to the checkpoint and load a checkpoint. Now, if you don't have any, this is your checkpoint models or your stable diffusion models. You can drop down and go to your directory, Comfy UI, models, and then you've got a couple here, you can do checkpoints. This is where you would drop things like, you can see here I've got Stable Diffusion XL Base, I've got Stable Diffusion XL Turbo, Realistic Vision, anything that you can download off of Hugging Face or Civit AI, for example. The other directory you'll wanna pay attention to is LoRa's. In case you've done any of my trainings and my other videos, this is where you drop your LoRa files. 
Once that's done, select one of the models over here on the left. Next up, you've got this clip text encode prompt. This is your positive prompt. So we'll say beautiful scenery, nature glass bottle landscape, purple galaxy bottle. This is just the default that was already loaded in here. After that, you've got your negative prompt, and then you've got your image setting. So we wanna change this from 512 to 1024 by 1024, since we're using a Stable Diffusion XL model. We'll leave batch size at one, so it generates a single image. For the sampler settings, we'll set the seed to zero, that's randomized. We'll leave steps, CFG scale, sampler name, we'll leave all of that alone for now at least. But do know that you can change any of these. So sampler name, you can go Euler, you can go DPM, you can do any of those that you have installed in your system. And that's really all we have to do right off the bat here. Once that's done and we wanna generate our first image, just click on Q prompt. You'll see that it highlights the box in green that it's working on. So right now it's loading that into memory and you can see it going through. Now it's actually creating the image, decoding, saving, and there's our first image. That's actually really beautiful. Told you it wasn't that difficult. That's all it takes to get this set up and running. Now I'm gonna make your life a lot easier going forward because there are some advanced workflows you can pick up. And one of the things that ends up happening is all of these boxes, all of the different kind of modules that you can add to this have to exist. You have to download them from various places and it becomes really difficult to manage all of those. So there's software called Comfy UI Manager. And as I say right here, it offers management functions to install, remove, disable, and enable various custom nodes of Comfy UI. And that's exactly what you're gonna need here. And to install this, you're gonna go to your Comfy Nodes directory. I'm gonna type CMD to pull up the command prompt and we're gonna go to the Comfy UI custom nodes directory. In my case, I'm gonna go to drive E and then type CD to change directory. And in my case, it's nested two levels deep. So I have slash Comfy UI slash Comfy UI slash custom nodes. Once you're in that directory, we're gonna get clone the repo and that's gonna get everything downloaded. So we'll just copy this line from the install, head on back, right click, that's gonna drop in our git command. And since we installed git earlier, super easy, just press enter, and that's gonna download all the files. Obviously, I've already got it installed, so that's why it gives this error. When that's done, all you have to do is restart Comfy UI. So you can close this terminal that's running in the background and just double click to run your NVIDIA GPU batch file. Now Comfy UI will reload. It should have the same workspace open, and you'll see this new tab in here called Manager. When you click on that, it has a whole bunch of different options. You can install custom nodes, install missing custom nodes, and this is the piece that's really valuable. You can go to websites like comfyworkflows.com, and when you go there, you'll see a whole bunch of different workflows that you can install and use for Comfy UI. Some of these are pretty amazing. And when you find one of these workflows that you like, just click on the download button. That's gonna take you to this page that's gonna show you all the different nodes that this uses. You can see this one's pretty complex. And in the upper left-hand corner here is a download workflow link. That's gonna download a JSON configuration file. You can go back to Comfy UI and simply go to load. Find that JSON file, open it, and you'll see right here we've got an error. When loading the graph, the following node types were not found, image chooser. So that's the ones that are highlighted in red, and this is why we need that manager. So when we open up manager, we can click on install missing custom nodes. You can see the image chooser is highlighted here, so we can simply go over here to install. That's gonna kick off the process of installing any custom nodes that are missing. Down at the bottom, it lets us know that we need to restart Comfy UI in order to apply this node change. So click on that, it's gonna reboot the server. And if all goes well, when it starts back up, you're not gonna have any of those red nodes anymore. Now what this workflow does is pretty neat. It starts with Stable Diffusion XL Turbo. It generates a series of images very quickly. You can then select from the preview which of those images you like the most, and then it upscales and refines that image using a larger diffusion model like Stable Diffusion XL. We'll start by loading the checkpoint. We'll use Stable Diffusion XL Turbo, and it looks like there's another checkpoint at another point, so we'll use Stable Diffusion XL Base up there. When you click Q Prompt, it's gonna go through and generate those Stable Diffusion XL Turbo images. Here's our preview of those, which we can zoom in on, select the one we think is the coolest, let's go with this first one, and then progress, it says progress, it should say process, I think. 
progress selected image. We'll click on that. And now you can see it's jumping ahead. It's loading the next Stable Diffusion XL full model. And it's gonna go through and process that to upscale and refine that photo. So it's basically doing an image to image upscale. Once that's done, we've got two more that we can select from. We'll select the image on the right and click to progress that again. Then that final image is running through Ultimate SD Upscale. And there we have our final very high resolution image as a result. The cool thing about this one is you can iterate through a whole bunch of Stable Diffusion XL Turbo ideas. So you could set different prompt ideas, figure out if it's even gonna generate something remotely interesting, and then use that as a base for this final image that you generate. I hope you found that useful. Comfy UI has an almost unlimited number of different use cases. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe and bell notification so you get updated anytime I post new content. As always, I'm Brian Lovett, and remember, all your tech are belong to us. I'm the virtual prophet in the tech town. Break it down, AI, wearing the crown. From basics to complex, never let you down. All your tech, AI, earning the renown.